Alright. Well, this not look up to me. What's going on, you flaming fucking faggots? Let's. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Hey! You don't talk like that! <laughs> on your own podcast! <laughs> on his <dogs>. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga said, hey! Like your mom, hey! Hey! <laughs> you call faggots one more time, I'm gonna empower the LGBTQ community. Hey, remember that dog you don't like? Are we all? Are we last room? Are we all? Yeah, we recorded, bro. Okay, oh, okay. Wouldn't it be funny if, like, dog, at least those dogs we ate, and somebody came up here and came up here? I don't have a list of dogs. No, 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 yeah, send me the phrase, though. I ain't gonna let that, bro. Bro, it'd have been like fucking, uh, uh, who framed Roger the Rabbit, though. I'd have been out of here, man. I'd have been yeah, dead. Fuck you Nigga, I, 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 I'd have been dead, though. Because, let me say, how you jump the gate and nobody come in, bust this door open, come up to the stand, know exactly what room to come in, <laughs> you know what I mean? And know exactly what room to come in. Bust down that door. Bypass me and just bite your ass. Bro, I'm, 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 I'm dead, bro. Like, that was after you, dog. <laughs> you must have come to him, dog. No, I'm also bad cemetery type shit, like, hey. <laughs> 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 Alright, I'm gonna say, that'll be some, uh, that'll be some funny, funny ass shit to just see that, that perspective, dog. <laughs> Whole TV just gone from the chuckle to the fence and come in. It is the dogs. How the fuck these dogs even get in here, dog? Evil ass dogs. That's funny. That's funny, dog. That is funny, dog. To jump over me and just bite the shit out of you, dog. I'd be dead. I don't know. I would. I'd just be laughing, dog. Wow. So it's an intro. Nobody gives a fuck about. <laughs> I'm saying the plaster bastard, who's the host of the Heathen Savers podcast. Welcome to the Heathen Savers podcast. I'm your host, the Heathen Unsane, the plaster bastard, as I already said, and I don't give a fuck. And this nigga over here, this lump of shit over here, this the lump of shit over here. This nigga over here is abstract. Yeah, he introduced himself. Bite this nigga, man. Every dog, every dog in the city, bite him. Leave the whole fucking main society and just fucking be. You know what? Do you remember the Simpsons episode? How y'all doing? I remember the Simpsons episode where uh, the dolphins took over the fucking city and shit? What? The fucking oh, Simpsons? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really funny. <laughs> On that type of timing. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was with the shits. <laughs> you right, dog. Man, don't listen to this man. <laughs> he gonna get y'all killed. Listen to me. He gonna get y'all killed. Listen to me. He gonna get you and your dog killed. Oh, man. How y'all, how you doing? Um, I don't know who gives a fuck. Damn. <laughs> no one well. Gives, no one gives a watery shit how I'm doing. The dogs will. The dogs will. you. <laughs> the dogs will. The dogs will. I don't know, man. You know, this is a a, a great day. Kind of sober, but we made it a great day. Um, yeah, because we celebrate. We celebrate. We celebrate. Uh, we celebrate our homeboy Jim birthday, Jay Stone birthday. This nigga had mad. You know he had mad name, bro. Yeah, he did. <laughs> we talked about that last year. <laughs> I can't, I can't, hey. We talked about it last year. Nigga, right? every week he had a new name. Like, damn, dog, Cagano. All right, what you now? Jake Stone? Now you the Emperor? Now you <laughs> fucking Garfield? Now, now you, you fucking, fucking Gray. <laughs> Tiberius Gray. Right, dog. I swear to God, this nigga had 80 names, bro. <laughs> I'm like, God, nigga, you gotta pick <laughs> one, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, I, I got a lot of names, too. I got, I'm pretty creative, too. I have one. Yeah, an abstract. <laughs> so we can put my whole government in here. Like, fuck this. That's your whole government. That's all you need? Well, you know what? You what? really couldn't find me. Yeah, because you, you can't spell it. it. <laughs> Brick. <laughs> you can't spell that shit. You, you try to spell it. You try to spell it. I dare you. <laughs> you would never get it. It's you would never get it. If you think it's L A R R Y, you, you are sorely mistaken, my friend. No, but, but but you know what? Um, God damn, I lost my train of thought real quick. 
Oh, uh, anyway, because I, I lose mine. So all I'm just going to say is uh, I would like to start this podcast off by saying uh, you bitches ain't as fly as you think you are. <laughs> Wait, before we go there, you you doing, you messing up, bro. I'm messing up. You, you messing up. How? I'm just getting. What's, the, what's happening right now that should not be, that should be happening right now? What, the 10 year old killed his mama? No, nigga! The devil lettuce! Oh, right. This is really yo, this is a this is a this is really a live stream. This is really a we uh uh participate uh anticipated I'm a back smack him. He lucky my arm short, I don't but no, we this is really we anticipated like to be live. So if we so super raw right now and drunk, it's because we anticipate to be live as fuck right now. But uh continue you dick yeah. Did you call me a dick? Head. Dickhead? Yeah. <laughs> well you if I'm a dickhead, you a dick hole. So oh, here we go. Yeah, what is what is the dick hole? Oh. The hole in your dick. That's the most important part though. So, you still need to hold in the dick. Fuck you. I'd rather be a head. But, bro, 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 I'd rather right. be the head of the cock. Right, but what if I... Right. Just to be the cock staff, or the cock <coughs> fucking shaft, or the cock fucking hole. But, bro, what if your hole is fucking... If your hole is, like, sewed up, then what? How is it sewed up? Say, like, somebody sewed your shit up. What you want to do? Man, fuck all this. <laughs> <laughs> We are here at the Heathen Sabian, and at the Heathen Sabian is customary and traditional. And, uh, come in with a blunt of the devil at us because the Heathen's Haven is what? It ain't shit without my lighter. That's what the fuck it is. Oh, it ain't the Heathen's Haven <laughs> without a blunt of this devil at us. Oh, y'all for a show today, man. Uh, oh, but bro, it, with that, nah, there 
can talk this somewhere. Yeah, but the thing about it is, yeah, it's a very little But here's the thing. I can just be recording you just off the strength of... They don't think I'll be doing it off of fucking Instagram. So you can't even pull a phone out there. You could, but I'm just saying, I know you, bro. We're going to get lit as fuck already. We definitely got a free game. And then, um... Recording you spazzing me? Like, they're going to be like, yo, get your ass out of here. Get the fuck off the way! Get the fuck out of <laughs> With no problems. But yeah, this this little motherfucker, we can conceal this. This little camcorder. Yeah, uh, no, it, it's, not the, it's not the fucking recording. It's just the, the material. What will what, what have, what have to be said? I mean, you know you. So I can't cuss at all. I'm not allowed. You can't, you know, you, bro, that's cussing and that's you. Uh, get the fuck out of here. here. Get the me. fuck out of here, nigga. Cussing that's is. cussing and that's you. But cussing is me. You can't tell me not to cuss. I didn't say, no. there's cussing and there's you. <laughs> that's you. Cussing, you is cussing in a whole, I, I, that's a I said that's a whole other Hell yeah, world. Yeah. I'm I'm sweet. What's nigga for it? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. This is Dion Kobe and call him motherfucker. <laughs> you know what call him a cocksucker? That dick Oh, man. Bro, you, this hole. you know what? You know how I knew I was getting old, bro? When I realized how much I hate teenagers. I, 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 I hated teenagers when I was one. Bro, like, bro. Uh, I used to go to Starbucks to work sometimes just to beat Kevin <laughs> Fugger. And, bro, these teenagers come in around like 2, 30, 3 o'clock. Deep, and they just dog. They just annoying as fuck. And then I, it, it made me think, dog. Damn, was we that annoying? Yes. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> like just yeah. annoying, dog. Yes, we were like, yelling. You what a fool to think that we were not annoying. Oh, of course, in these oh, of course, of course, of course. But you, ne- but like, you, you never, you never see that. You never think about that. And no, so I'm just seeing these motherfuckers running up and down the motherfucker all over Starbucks. Ain't buy shit, fighting, uh, cuffing, caking up, fighting. You said fight. Yeah, I'm just, well, I double fight. They, and I'm like, I'm like, bro, twice as bro, as I'm that. like, if any of these niggas buck my shit, I'm whooping their ass. I go to county. I don't give a fuck. Y'all buck me, bro. Y'all buck my computer. I will fuck y'all up. Okay. But I, dude, I, I'm, and I'm like, yo, I, I'm old. I'm officially old. I'm old. You know? No, I'm old to the point I hate teens, bro. And I ain't, we ain't got kids. I don't want to be around no, no teenagers. Why do, you, why do you think that is? Because I think... <laughs> because I we think, ain't kids. Exactly. We don't have so, kids so, we ain't kids. So, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when you... Like, remember how your mom used to be fucking nagging on you? Or talk about your music? No. My mom used to be like, oh, y'all listen to Bone Thug and the Harmony. I'm like, mom, it's Bone Thug and Harmony. Like, man, I, I hope I never get to that. Like, this is the best music, man. I'm never going to be an old head who talk about. Yeah, you are. Now, now look at me. Man, it's music trash. It's music trash. I ain't got no substance. Ain't no nigga. It ain't like the old days. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. But like, I think every dude, bro. I think every motherfucker turned into that old motherfucker. That old, the, the old parent. But, parents. But, but, but wait a minute. Are we really old just for asking for some music with substance? Just for asking for substance. But, with but, but is substance such an outdated notion that we have to ask for it in our music and be called antique because of it? That's ridiculous. Do you remember a time when, um, I remember a time in the, in the early mid 90s, so I'm just saying like 95, when like Salt and Pepper and uh, Rock came and all, I was like, this music now is all hot trash. Back in the day, we were having fun. But we didn't say nothing really because they just, the rap just started like five years before they came out and blew up. Well, no one say that, but yeah, but that's but, that's exactly but don't but don't you think that from eighty five to ninety five was a whole different ballgame? Even eighty eight from ninety five was a whole different ballgame. 
Yeah, it was, but it, at, at the same, same time, time, you still had motherfuckers, motherfuckers, like you said, complaining, saying that, uh, how you gonna say that the, the old rap music is trash, the trash, and uh, rap music is only five years old within itself? Because, because that makes no sense. I think, I think it's, it's error, though. though. Like, 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 you, you can, you can, can tell, tell me shit about 90, 90, but then I can't tell somebody, somebody who's 30 about fucking 2000s. They, 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 Right, but we're not hearing that shit off. Look, Wayne's the best. Like, get the fuck out of here. Oh, he's not. Like, I told you, man, I was arguing with motherfuckers at, uh, at the old job talking about uh, Kanye West was more creative than Tech Nine. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Yeah, fucking right. No way. Never. He's never been, never will be. All right? Kanye West is a good producer, and he needs to stick to what he knows. I mean, this song is too. Sometimes. Man, Man, sometimes. I'm just saying, like, he ain't he, he, as cold as Tech to me. Not at all. But how the fuck is he better than Tech? Oh, he's better than Tech on an overall level. No, yes, yes he is. is. Yes, yes, he is. Oh, come on. Let's, no. let's stop the bullshit. Yes, he is. How? Is Tech more a better rapper? Yes. Yes. Is he's he better creative? Yes. yes. But Kanye is a better artist. So, if he's a better creative, how is he a better artist? Okay. okay. I got you. Name a great singer in the 90s. Vocally. Man, we are, Come on, listen. Follow me. Name a great singer in the 90s. Sing the vocally. 90s. Vocally. There's a lot of men in the 90s. I say uh, the lead singer from SWV, Coco. Coco. Okay. okay. So, so she's the best singer in Major Blige, right? right? Yeah. Why is Mary J. Blige the GOAT? Because she had more hits. Case closed, thank you. So if you got more hits, then that means... That's, 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 all, that, that's all that matters! That's all that matters, bro! You think... I disagree. It's cut, wait, so... Right, so <laughs> if you think... You think it's Tech Nine, right? <laughs> you can't tell me you didn't want no great... Uh, and that ain't no underground motherfuckers that you thought were great. Compared of course to the great. great mainstream media just because... Of course! Okay, so that means mainstream media means nothing. No, but... Can you, can you deny it? He got the hits. He got the song. That was everything. Nobody give a fuck if you can sing. Come up, uh, up. Uh, oh, what's that last right, thing? So you going by the masses of things? No, I'm not. Yours. No, I'm not. What's the, right, what's the, last, uh, the last thing that can fucking get pregnant every fucking five minutes? Alicia Keys? No. Not that. House, uh, house, house, house breaking bitch. House breaking bitch. Yeah. No, um, shorty who, um... She think she was on some of the fun. Kiki what? Okay, what about it? She can sing her ass off. Yeah, she works at Walmart now. So <laughs> <laughs> she Thank you. At Thank now. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but no, I'm but like, like, I know what she doing. I'm Gen- I know, but Jennifer Hudson. Great singer, right? Okay. Name five hits. Um I can't at least name one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It's like rap, like like like. It's the same thing, like Kanye. Kind of exactly. Besides saying she's not great, at what she I never does. said that. Okay. Yeah, you did. You know, but you can be great at what you do. You do, but it doesn't make you. You get a hit. Who give a fuck? Find a little girl. can rap, bro. Is he better artist than fucking Jay Z? No. So just because Kanye made mainstream and Tech Nine is trying to make mainstream go tech, that makes. Tech less. I didn't mean. I don't mean less though. Yeah, you did. My less is fucking. Yeah, he's less of an artist. No, I should say he's not that. He's not on the level of Kanye. He he's never less will of be an artist. Come on, man, stop fucking do we No, you talk about. You talk about, uh, he, you talk about like I'm saying he's trash. He's not trash. I'm, I'm saying. Not saying that, any, I'm not okay. saying you saying he's trash. I'm saying. That you said that he's not better than Kanye. He's not up here. So he's, he's not, not though. Creative. I never, no, 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 I never said, I just, bro, you, see, you doing it again. I, you took, I never said that, he's a better rapper. He's a, he's more creative. Better but, rapper, more creative, but, but he's not better than Kanye. But Kanye got the hits. Who cares? This Kanye, Kanye had the promotion behind him. No, no, he has the fucking hits. He, don't fuck he the has the promotion behind him. Oh my God. And the promotion. So yes. Because his hits are not hits to me. Bro, you ain't gonna listen to Kanye. 
I heard the hits. They are hits to me. Why do I have only two Kanye songs on my whole playlist? Because you, cause you dead told me you don't listen to Kanye. I, okay, I will I will admit, I have never listened to a Kanye album. And I will not sit here and judge a whole album and try to, or pretend like I know what I'm talking about. But I will say that as far as the hits, he only got a couple hits that caught my eye. Or my ear, rather. What, what's, what's one? The one I just played, Power, for one. Through the Wire, it was dope. Oh, bro. Yo, I got a funny story about that, man. Jump actually put me on that song. And uh, I couldn't spell Kanye. I'm like, who the fuck is this? Like, Kanye West. Dog, I took my fucking notebook, no, dog. I put C-O-N-Y-E. <laughs> C-O-N-Y-E no, yeah, yeah. West. I'm like, oh, okay. So I went home, dog. I put it in fucking uh, Winmix. Hey, that's what's popping back in like today. And I'm like, I can't find this motherfucker. Kanye. Kanye. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that shit went hard. That, that's probably one of my favorite like Kanye songs. No, I was spelling it. C O N Q U E, all kind of shit. Oh man, oh man, but yeah, I just <clears throat> I never respected him to that degree, and I never will. Was it his, his ethics now that turned you off, or was it just his whole persona overall? Everything he'd ever done, like why the fuck you gotta go over here? Why the fuck you gotta run up on stage and steal somebody's moment? Yeah, and that's your colleague. Mm. You ain't shit, dog. I, I I don't respect that nigga, dog. I really don't. Now he want to go on there saying that I love Hitler. Yeah, he uh, yeah yeah. He, he no, no. I I understand. I understand all the hate now. I understand all of it now. Now, really? Yeah, yeah now you didn't understand it when motherfucking he went up there and took. I didn't give a fuck about a moment. Who the fuck was she? Nobody. She was somebody. Well, I didn't give a fuck. The pop was then. I wouldn't give a fuck. Pac wouldn't have never did that shit. Of course, yeah. Pac wouldn't have knocked his ass off the stage if he ever tried to do some <laughs> shit like that. Like, dog, you don't do that. You don't take somebody's moment from him. That's why he the GOAT. That's why he the GOAT. Pac or Kanye? Oh, okay. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you said Kanye, but I had to fight. <laughs> I just took those shots. There ain't no way I'm saying that stupid ass shit. <laughs> but oh yeah, uh, we still freestyling. Oh, we going? Oh shit, we ain't got no music going, dog. Oh, you know what? You wanna it, in honor of Jim? Let's do a freestyle. A freestyle? freestyle. Yeah. You and know I can't, can't rap. rap. I'm just I can't even. I'm just rap, rap my fucking lyrical gun. Put the lyrical gun. I don't have it. Ah, oh, god damn it! Yeah, I don't have that shit no more. Oh, wait, I might. Wait, let me see if I have it on, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. This nigga took a whole this summer to make. make. This nigga trying to play old ghosts. <laughs> I sure did. Damn. I sure did try to uh, maintain that shit. Lay your head on oh, my... What? You think I don't have any questions? I know I'm just on my heart. What the fuck was that he heard? Oh no. Don't have a kid, Bob. What the fuck you singing? I was like, let's sing some else then. Fuck it. Nigga. You know what, dog? Dude, listen, if we're gonna delete this shit anyway, this is what the fuck we're gonna play anyway. This ain't a live stream. Oh, if we're not gonna save it, then who cares? We're gonna save it anyway. Damn, I wish I could go live. So what happened? Was it just uh, some just too much hoops? Too much hoops? Yeah, I mean, you did you put you through like too much hoops, sir. Yeah, basically. Fucking hard ass game dog. You know how many times I try to play uh a link to the past? Bro, like 18 times I give up. I'm done. Fuck that game, I'm never playing it again. Bro, because 
had to play the emulator, and this shit was like, that shit was like, bro, I come back. All right, let me go back to the game, and my second got deleted it. Look, we got a grand total of twelve views. Yes. Yeah. Ah, we're making it. <laughs> Bitch ass niggas, I don't give a fuck if you don't support us. You some hoe ass niggas. Yeah, dog. It was it was be negative. Like niggas didn't use that. I don't give a fuck. It was getting negative views. We really should have went live, bro. Yeah, where? Fuck them. I don't care. They ain't supporting us. Fuck them. Shit, motherfucker. Yeah, what was the song in your first intro? Fuck a bitch. Fuck a hoe. Oh yeah. Fuck these haters. Oh, you went way back. <laughs> fuck the world. Fuck the world. Fuck the bitch. Fuck the bitch. Fuck the bitch. Fuck the bitch. Get rich. Get rich. Fuck the world. Fuck the world. You all over the place, place dog. dog. <laughs> we, 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 we have to be celebrating our boy, bro. I think, I think this, this is our way, bro. Like, like just, we, we just wildin', bro. Yeah, because this is what we, we, we would be talking about if we were all together. Yeah. Like, 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 it's, yeah. Like, like you thinking, bro, we, me and him could clear two and a half? This would be a four hour podcast with Zoom was here. Oh my God. This would be a four hour, bro. Remember that big ass argument we had about hip hop? Bro, we always, the house. We always say this some shit, man. No, not like that. It was a, it was a, four, it was a big ass. We, we, we was talking about hip hop at my house. Yeah, I remember. Because I got, either one of us got the recordings. I don't have it anymore. I, I think I, I do. I, oh, I have it, but I can't get the audio going. I have it, bro. And I'm just trying to figure out a way how can I get the audio to work on this thing. Because I'm going to just try to um, save it. I have to save it on my Dropbox, but then I want it to. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Anyway. What is this African American? What is he doing? I am fucking trying to get shit going. Fuck that game. Don't play that game ever, bro. I'm telling y'all, the 12 people, 13 people listening up right now. go. Man, I'm not, good. I'm not playing no more, bro. I'm fucking over it. I'm over it. Sorry to hear that. I'm fucking up, man, 18 times, bro. I'm telling not to play it. Yeah, I, I'm hating, so don't, don't fuck that. I can't <laughs> play, you can't play. That's what it is. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm over there like, picking my poison. I'm like, I got fucking... Yeah, let's pick our poison. Yeah, why are you picking your poison? I'm going to pick my motherfucking saw. Because I am over it. I am going to keep this motherfucking. Keep it, fuck it. We gonna keep this image here. Where in the fuck? Bro, what was the hardest game? Why you do that? What was the hardest game you ever played? Hardest? Yeah. Like fuck this game. Controller chuck in. I'm never revisiting it. Maybe you revisit it. You still never beat it. Like just like fuck this game. Yeah, possible game. Fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, see, let's go to that shit. I mean, I'm talking about like a video game, bro. Like that is that, a video game that we played, bro. Like, like, like Nintendo, Super Genesis. That we all play, all right? yeah. Not no fucking game that's meant to be made to be hard. Like this is like a hard, hard ass game. Okay. Oh, uh, I would have to say Super Metroid. Really? That's a hard game to you? Yeah. That wasn't all that hard. You didn't beat it. Oh, thank you for bringing that up. Let me tell you what this motherfucker did, bro. All right, so I'm in my room playing the shit out of this game, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm vibing. I asked this motherfucker to give me one place. Why did you beat the game? I told you, dog. <laughs> yeah, I guess you were right. <laughs> Super Metro ain't that hard. I'm saying, like, I know. All right, I know this nigga. Yo, yo, yo. I'm like, yo, yo. Hey, yo, I'm out here. This nigga beat the fucking game. The whole game. I ain't played that. Yo, it took me a long time. Because I was paying. Every time I play that game, I looked at it. I thought about 
this nigga beat this motherfucking game. You ain't, you know what? I ain't playing the game with your ass no more. I don't care if it's fucking Street Fighter. I don't give a fuck if Mario 1. I don't give a fuck if it's Donkey Kong. Never in my life. Bro, ever. You ain't gonna never play Street with me no more? Oh, oh, Street. street. No, I mean, I said I meant like Streets of Rage. Any game to beat, nah, that's a, I'm playing, I am playing, I am playing NBA Street. I wish we could do it right now. I really wish, one day, this would be the day. I wanna play Street. I wanna whoop your, you know, I played it. I gotta learn how to play again, cause I, I can't. I how do you, how do you have it? On Retro Arc? Uh, no, well, no, I got this thing for my birthday. It's like a handheld thing I play on. But I still got my PlayStation 2. So, uh, I think just bring it. But then it's just relearning how to play, bro. Cause we was I on mean, that. We can do that before we even get on camera. Of course, bro. I'm saying, like, man. It's just, back in the day, that shit was just natural. Cause that's all we played. We played that. Uh, Fight for New York. And we play, um, uh, what are Taken, Driver, Taken, all that. We That's what we did, bro. It's like 2002 or three. We get high, we get drunk, and then we just chill in the basement and just play games, bro. That was just our life. We were young. Yeah, that's how we got down. Yeah, that's how we got down. You know what we went out here doing dumb shit. We just, you know, clicked games. up and just play well, games. We did dumb shit. We, we did do them. We did do some dumb shit. That's what. Right. Uh, y'all was running around beating each other with with baking sheets. Oh, that's... <laughs> did you know that? Did you know that? I was fucking feeling it. Oh, okay, you was feeling it. I felt that whole shit. And then the motherfuckers was talking about, we ain't got the police. When? Who was that? When you was by the, when y'all was by the gas station, I was filming on it. We ain't got the police. I don't know that. What? Yeah, I don't, I don't, no, I don't. I don't want to do that, that in the backyard. Uh, we we evolved. <laughs> Damn. Damn. The fucking gas station on the corner. The, the state back to oh, sit go oh, by your house. Oh, really? Because Jim didn't live that far from you. Yeah, he lived like 20 blocks away from you. Exactly. So we, we, we went over there. No, all right. This was right before you power bombed him on the car, by the way. <laughs> You know, no, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. That, that was, was the, the same, same day in, in, in the basement. basement. Remember, because we, we had, remember, no, nah, you said, yo, we bought the battery dying. dying. So yeah, we had wrapped wrap this up, and then we, we me and Romel, pop on the shit out of the dude, boy, and I'm a fucking head. That was fun. Oh, man. But I didn't see right that. on the hood. Camera, all right, we out. And nobody won. The All died right <laughs> when I popped up on the hood. Yo, we walking. Nobody won. It was like, hey, just, just jump off. That's all it was. Nobody lost. Nobody won. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that was, oh, that was fun. Uh, uh, we, it was originally, we were trying to do like some regular like, wrestling, wrestling. wrestling. Man, this ain't fun, bro. Then we were just like, like yo, let's just fuck it out. Let's go out. Niggas is getting bacon sheets. Yeah. Wow. Frying pans. Get suplex finishes. the fuck up. Yeah. Right. For no reason. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I lost a subscriber. Damn. 172. It was 173, but I don't give a shit. Fuck you. You yeah, gotta get your old page back, bro. By any means. No, I don't. Bro, you had, you had 90. No, I didn't. I had 30. I mean, even, I even if well, no matter what, I don't want nobody watching me. So we start no. I don't care. I mean, hey, like nothing, nothing, nothing happened in, in that whole ten years that I was fucking over on YouTube. Nothing. I never got a check. Never got revenue. Nothing. Nothing. They never hit you up like yo. We uh. We, yes. So it don't matter, because I never got any money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't give a shit about the 30,000 subscribers. What the fuck do 30,000 subs mean if you ain't got no fucking money? <laughs> what if niggas want to do like, live, like, pull ups? Me, me unsane for 50 miles. If it ain't evolved to that, yeah. what you didn't? But, I, yeah, I don't know. Bro, can you imagine how dope that would have been? I don't know. We had the Wisconsin Center, dog. 
wouldn't have been I wouldn't have been in Wisconsin. I would have you that. No, I'm saying at the Wisconsin Center on Wisconsin. I wouldn't have been in Wisconsin. Oh, so you wouldn't oh so to say like the mid would have had me doing sign ins and sign up checks somewhere else. Yeah. It wouldn't have been here. Yeah. No, nothing happens here, okay? Do you understand? No, but I'm saying, you, you know that like, the Midwest uh, gaming thing is a big deal here. Like, it's a big deal. Like, thousands of motherfuckers come here. Damn. Yeah, and get a booth. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Take oh, the no, maybe show up at a Comic-Con. Right, it's Comic-Con yeah, here. Yeah, yeah that's, so it's like, it's, it's, it's like that, though. It's like that. Uh, but... We, that's like, you get that later. We get some fucking niggas here just, oh, uh, that's what we do, bro. And we kind of need it, man. We yeah, got to need Because, I mean, the world is in need of some realism. Mm -hmm. In the world of fakeism. Mm -hmm. Dude, everything is fucking fake. Have you seen the world? Have you looked around? Have you woken up? Stuck your fucking ugly face out the fucking window with your eye crusted eyeballs and looked around, huh? <laughs> I bet you haven't, because if you have, you would see that everything is fucked. We don't have anything anymore, bro. Did we ever talk about this? I feel like we did about this before we went anywhere. Uh, sequels better than the original. I'm pretty sure we talked. I don't know. I don't. I, mean, I can't keep up with that shit. <laughs> Everything is the fucking same. Or okay, well, or right, well, movies that shouldn't have a sequel. Yeah, we can go there. Yeah, that's easy. Seven should never have a sequel. All the Disney movies should not have a sequel. All the Disney movies. Yes. Pocahontas, Pocahontas two, Pocahontas three. Cinderella oh, yeah, 2, The yeah. Lion King. That's a quick cash grab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'm just saying, it like that. Um, well, my whole thing was I feel like Rush Hour 2 is better than the first one, but they didn't need Rush Hour 3. Like, I think they get to a point where it's like, damn, how the fuck can we make more money instead of improving whatever the fuck they did, even though it was great. Like, Rush Hour Rush was a great movie, but Rush Hour 2, it was a great movie. But really, all they did was put out the first movie. And I think a lot of movies do that shit. And, but it only worked to me uh, successfully if it's in the book. To solve that problem, it's called being creative. Well, don't you, but, um, who does this thing about Hannibal? What about that worked, because that was a book, that was books. Well, yeah, I mean... That works, too. That's what I mean like a sequel that usually works. Yeah, but they don't even necessarily stick to the source material for a lot of that shit. Well, I mean, how can you? How big was the book? Sometimes you gotta just cut that shit down. big enough to make it into a movie. Well, you're right. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, look, I mean, fuck, uh, The Green Mile was a long movie, but the book was big as fuck, too. Yeah. So that means they included a, a good portion of that shit. I wonder if Stephen King liked that shit. He had to. I, I don't know, because Stephen King is pretty open about whether or not he likes adaptations of his book. So what do you think was his best? He loved It, the new It. He loved the new It? Yeah. More than the old one? Yeah. What do you, I, what, what do you, what, what is your favorite? Mine? Yeah. I don't know. I haven't seen everything. Well, I mean, and that you saw already. I say, I say, it's a tie between Pet Cemetery and It from the nineties. Really? Yeah. Damn, they didn't have to read the fucking books. And I, I thought, I thought for sure you gonna say like the Green Mile. I haven't read the Green Mile. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh, so book? Oh, oh sorry. So you talking about books that you read and then saw the movie? Yeah, I gotta go by books. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't have a choice. Yeah, okay. that's why. And like I want to see the stand mini series, but I'm not. I'm not gonna see it until I finish the book. But that book is brought. It's eighty five hours on an audio book. I mean, forty five hours. You can't listen to that. Bro, forty five hours. Okay. That's long. It's gonna take you about a month if you listen to it consistently. Like for real, like. Uh, it's not, that's what it takes. Like it just takes that discipline sometimes. Like yeah. you just gotta buckle down and open that book or hit that play button or whatever. 
Yeah, the, the bottom line is like when I read uh, Pet Cemetery, uh, you know what I'm saying I was what was I nine years old? Damn, you know what I'm saying. I sat there and read that book, and then when I read it, I was like in high school. I was in high school when I read that, and then I, after I watched, after I read the book. I went back and watched the movie the, from the 90s, and I was like, wow, dude, they really took a lot from the look. But, but man, is, is that, that a treat? I was like, watching the movie was a treat, but is that a hindrance? No. Because then you were like, oh, damn, it has this, it has that. I think it's your imagination being brought to life. Yeah. yeah. Your imagination realized. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they... Stephen King, one thing, if you read a Stephen King book, one thing you learn is that he, he is very good at uh, writing in details about the characters yeah. and then describing them and right. shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, he described Pennywise, okay, well, like, okay. He's a, he's a circus clown look. You know what I'm saying? Bald on the top and hair on either side. Red hair on either side and red lipstick, pencil thin. You know what I'm saying? He, he he really paint a picture, and when he describes the characters, because and he takes the time to describe each character. You know what I'm saying? And that's so it, so it, it it's in your it's ingrained in your imagination. So you have no choice but to be like, okay, I see how this motherfucker probably look, and if it was a movie, I could adapt this character. Oh, I could see like somebody like you know what I'm saying, uh, Robert De Niro playing this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying, like yeah, it's, it's shit like that, dog. So, so when you finally saw, saw it, did that the description fulfill? Were you fulfilled by the visual visualization, the visualization that you saw? I was, all right, I saw the movie first. Okay, oh, I was, I was, I was, I was, I you read the book. Okay. No, I read the book in high school. Yeah. It, I saw the movie. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Nine. Well, uh, let's talk about Pit Cemetery. Okay, I saw that movie when I was like eight. Oh, oh, so you always saw the movie, movie then, read the book. and then I read the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying, and it was like, okay, the book is a way more gruesome. Yeah, and also too, it was way more gruesome. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But the more memorable book that I got in my head is it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, because even though it was such a long and thick book, it's like okay. I read all of it, and it's like, damn, uh, dude, this motherfucker is sick. <laughs> eight, 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 nine years old. It, uh, no, I, I was I was in high school when I read it. Yeah. High school when I read it, about nine years old when I read Pet Cemetery. I was Pet Cemetery in the book to you, and not. Scary as fuck. <laughs> like I said, yeah. like I said, Stephen King was great at painting these pictures. Yeah. But I mean, at nine, bro, that's that's kind of hard. It is, bro. <laughs> but I was, I was, I was, I was there for it. Yeah, I was yeah. there for it, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, right, this motherfucking book is crazy. <laughs> so, so when I got to high school, oh yeah, and then uh, when I was like fourteen, I read like Christine. Christine was dope too. Never heard of it. Uh, the book about the old school killer car. Yeah. Wow. Well, <laughs> but, I mean, but also, but also but I'm not, you know me, I'm not a horror fan. So, like, like, like oh, I was a horror fan, yeah. I guess that's why I read yeah. all these books. But, but here's, here's the thing, though. The way I, I, I you gonna have for this. The way I understood how much when you read a book versus with the Visual interpretation of it mm -hmm. really be like, damn, that ain't enough about this, enough about that. Yeah. I just get in like middle school, I read a Goosebumps uh, book. And then we read the Goosebumps book, then we saw the show. And I remember me being like, yo, this is not about this, y'all. This is way less scary than the fucking book. So think about this is Goosebumps, bro. We talk, you read you Pet Cemetery at nine. Yeah. I mean, this shit is like fucking 11? <laughs> and that's light. That's light. But I understand, like, wow, oh, this is nothing like that. And that's. And you want to know something? That's one of the reasons I didn't read the Goosebumps book. Because I thought it was lightweight. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> so, that's. When I, when I think of that, it's the reason why I'm, I'm just waiting to finish this book to see the movie. Like I did Green Mile, I think that and Green Mile maybe were like, let me read this book 
So I earned to watch the movie. You know what I mean? Right. Even if that's the same, it's still gonna be I earned to watch the movie. I hear it. Yeah. Like I can see that. I can hear it. there's logic in that. Right. I think that um Damn man, you know what? I think Stephen King was honestly my favorite author growing up. <laughs> she didn't tell me. <laughs> I would, I wanted I really wanted to get into like Tom Clancy. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but yeah. I, I just couldn't bring myself to it. But I always found myself in the uh, libraries in the fucking sci-fi horror section. You know what I'm saying? And, and another uh, Stephen King book that I thought was great was uh, Nightmares and Dreamscapes. Thick-ass book. Like, pop, pop, pop. Oh, yeah. You want to read this? Read! <laughs> <laughs> read, nigga, read! No. Oh, boy, that's why... Why even because you broke book? That's why I didn't watch fucking Michael Max. Cause I always say I wanna read the fucking article behind me, then watch the movie. Did you read? Hell no, I didn't. Wanna read? I got it. I got the book too. You got the book and you ain't read it. No, because I got the audio book also. My whole thing is I can listen, listen though. My whole thing is I can work and listen to it. So you yeah, been? No. <laughs> I swear to God, bro. Look, look, no, no, no. Here's the thing. It, it's my fault, bro. I got, I got a good thousand dollars worth of fucking audio books that, I, like, my whole thing was I gotta focus on work. I mean, when I was actually at work, focus on work and stay off the internet. So I would buy audio books and listen to them while I'm working to keep me off fucking Facebook. I'm still not playing no music. We've been going for like an hour now. And I ain't been playing no music. Sorry, we're talking about books and shit. <laughs> I know a lot of you motherfuckers out there don't read. I don't know. Oh, yeah. shit, it's all for it. like, <laughs> Yo, it's like, oh, I like this conversation. You're talking about... You're talking about... Fuck literature. this nigga! <laughs> Bye! Delete! Man, I don't know y'all motherfuckers don't read. Quit playing. <laughs> shit, if you're a fan of me, you don't read. Damn! <laughs> But that don't mean I don't read. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, no, no. I'm better than you because I read. <laughs> Ever heard of it? Oh, you man. know what I don't like about job hunting? Job hunting. Not just that, but open interviews. I hate them. Because it, it just feel like you don't, it's not personal. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that and it, it just feel like I'm I'm at a Hollywood acting audition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a bunch of motherfuckers yeah, uh, yeah, in line yeah, yeah. for the same part. Right. Like you, bitch. Fuck you. I you just. Not, yeah. I, I yeah. You ain't finna fucking get this part before me. I'm finna go in there and act and read my ass off. I yeah. At this point, bro, I've been at my job for like 15 years, bro. I'm about to quit. Hell, hell no, nigga. Retire. Well, talk about shit. Retire. Fuck that. Retire after 15 years? No, no, nigga, I'm saying I'm not leaving my job. What the fuck are you talking about? No, I'm saying at 15 years, I'm not leaving my job. I'm, I'm retired. I'm not leaving my job. I don't want to go through that shit again. Okay. No, all I'm saying is like, I'm just going to retire. Okay, so you're going to stay there until you're 65? Yeah. Okay. Fuck it. Nigga, I, you know what I'm about to do? If I don't call out tomorrow... I'm going to log in and go to sleep. You beastie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boss. Don't listen to this. <laughs> he ain't going to listen to You beastie, though. <laughs> I'll give you credit for that, motherfucker. Yeah, oh, I got to fuck. My boss cool as fuck. She told me all she wants me to do is the fuck I had to do, and, and she needs something, something done to do, do it. Other than that, she don't give a fuck, bro. I'm good, nigga. I'm good. I'm good. And I'm, I told you I'm trying to move to Philly. Philly. I'm, I'm, I'm out, bro. I'm good, man. I'm like, I'm, I think I'm going to get more checkups check up on me, and I'm good, bro. I'm out of here. Oh, okay. okay. I'm, I'm out, bro. Like, like, you're you going to be coming out to Philly. You're going to be going to be fucking... I ain't going to know no motherfucker. Yeah, you are. Now I'm going to you how much cops hate niggas in Philly. You're going to be there. You're going to be there. Grow a beard. Yeah. 
unempathic people. And then all this shit is fucked up because no one's raising these children properly. But that's the world we live in now. You live in a world now where you get shot in the face by your own 10 year old. Oh, we're talking about that? Bro! Bro. First off, he did that sh Oh, we got a lot. Oh, we got a oh, There's a lot to unpack with this, right? Yeah, I see call for that, bro. You know what? Let's talk about that, then I'm going to talk about why he did it. Why he did it? Let me relax! 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 relax. Excuses? No, relax! Why? Why would he? He's wild because not only did he shoot his fucking mom, that nigga took the money, his car, credit card, and bought more Fortnite shit. Nigga, what? Where is your conscience? That nigga evil, man. And no, it get worse, bro. He called his aunt and was like, did you get my shit? What my games are? You gonna bring my games in? So he said, he sent the fucking Amazon package to his aunt. Oh my life. Asking what my I shit. Know that. I thought he said it to his house. At, like just asking, like what my shit? You my package? You ten years old, bro. What the fuck, bro? You kill your mama was a motherfucking Fortnite shooter. Man, dude, that shit crazy, dog. He and, and he shot. He conscious. Yeah, I don't hear that crazy shit. He conscious. You got the conscious for that shit. And he uh he get charged as an adult. Yeah, I don't like this fucking good. Punk ass up. I bet he's fat, too. I bet he's fat. Let's take a look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody get it. Like, he, uh, you know what I'm saying? I can think they didn't release his name, but they, I, I did find a picture of him. Dog killed his mama with some fucking... A video game. A video game. Bro, over, over a virtual boy. But here's the thing, bro. And the shit that he killed his mama over doesn't improve the game at all. Would you shoot your mama over a virtual boy? Hell no! Nah. Even back Nigga, then, up, I, I wouldn't have killed that. I wouldn't have robbed. I, was... I wouldn't have robbed, stolen, or killed from nobody who had a virtual boy. First of all, I was scared of my mom. And that's a problem I was I was I was trying to leeway to is these kids don't give a fuck about their parents. Why? Because they ain't whooping their ass. They scared to whoop their ass, man. Have you heard how some of these kids talk, talk to, to their, their parents? parents? 